Hi Audacious, my name's Karis, I'm the youth pastor at Audacious Church Manchester and it's my privilege to share with you our devotional today. And I'm reading 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 that says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone and the new is here. When I first have read that verse, it made me think about how we're in winter season at the minute and all the leaves have come down and, and, and the sort of trees are looking a bit barer. And in spring, we celebrate that new life coming through. And, and creation itself says goodbye to the old and in with the new. We read about how daily we renew our minds. And so there's this constant replenishment that goes on in creation and in ourselves. In this verse, it's talking about anyone who accepts Jesus and as their Lord and Saviour is now accepted within God's family. In the following verses, it talks about how we're reconciled with God and he doesn't count anybody's sins against them. So we become part of God's family and he writes off all our previous mistakes or previous ways of living. And he's like, right, you are a new creation. And he celebrates us and the potential and everything that he's got for us is available to us. And we can live in the freedom that comes with being part of God's family. The old is gone and the new is here. My challenge with that today for you is to think about your life. Do you know that you're a new creation? But are there maybe some things that you kind of are experiencing that are maybe some habits and hang ups that sort of tie you to the old you? the pre-Christ you, or maybe you know that there's things that actually are not reflecting that sense that you're a new creation in Christ. We can live as a new creation, we're set apart for his work and for his glory. In the verse just ahead of verse 17, it says, from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. And I love this because it means that once we understand that God has a purpose and a plan for each one of our lives, we can see others as God sees them. We stop looking at the speck in someone else's eye and start celebrating them for their God-given potential and, and purpose. That might look like today, um, encouraging someone, saying well done to someone. It could look like blessing someone with a gift or something financial or, um, or it could just look like smiling and saying, hi, how are you doing? Just checking in, seeing how things are going. And so that's my challenge for you today is to think, what are my old habits and hang-ups that maybe still tie me to a, a life that, that looks like the old me? And can I live as a new creation today and really grasp that concept? And secondly, to see others as God sees them for their purpose and potential and to celebrate others around us. Let me pray for you. God, I thank you that you make us new. I thank you that you have a plan for our lives that is beyond our expectations. God, I thank you that you make us new and that we don't have to live with um, hurts and habits and hang-ups because you free us from those things. God, we ask for your forgiveness for when we've chosen other things beyond you and we put you first right now. God, I help us to, God, would you help us to see other people how you see them? Would we be a blessing to others and would the fruit of your spirit be evident in everything that we do? In Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a great day and we'll see you soon.